Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Hey, what topics do we want to tackle today? Anything uh, deep or do we just want to kind of go easy? I don't know. What, what do you have on your mind today? I feel like you have something floating around. I do. I always do. Um, I'm going to ask you one that's probably a little controversial. Um, oh, very curious <laughs> as to your, <clears throat> your answer. The um, I'm wondering which brokerage firm in your mind has the largest reach. And by reach, I mean, if somebody were to market a property, who has the ability to reach the most people? Okay. And one specific brokerage, because I think of a couple that are like the bigger names that I think of automatically, um, because I almost, I consider them almost like the Walmart of real estate, you know, because nationwide people just know that name. So it's just name recognition. Um, so that I think like the Remax or the Keller Williams, especially in other areas, um, those come to mind, just being top of mind as a really bigger brokerage that people recognize um, that would probably get the word out there. So you're talking, you're, we may be talking two different things. You're talking brand recognition. I'm saying if somebody were to market a property, who can get it in front of the most eyeballs? Which, which brokerage? Which brokerage firm? Seaport Real Estate Services. No, I, I'm not necessarily, no, I don't think so. <laughs> well, I, that's, I know we can. So I know I, I can. I, I have no doubt in our abilities. You know, it, so I'm going to look at it like this. You know how I, I try, try to pick things apart and try to analyze them. Let's, um, let's go back 20, 25 years where maybe they just had the real estate books. And when you put your property on the market, it was who could get that book the fastest. Um, to make this really easy, let's pretend we're all the same height and we've got buyers out there and they are represented by fruit in a tree. Let's say it's an apple tree and everybody has the ability to reach up and grab those apples because we're the same height. So the low hanging fruit would be, you know, in our local community right? It's right around us. We all have the ability to have that reach. And maybe, maybe back then, if you added an affiliate office, that was one town over, then you got another rung on the ladder and she got to stand a little higher and you got to pick those apples that were a foot higher. And so what happened was they started, you know, the brokerage firms out there said, started saying, okay, well, let's create affiliates and we can create these all over the country and now when we market our properties through these books we have this network of people and the rungs on our ladder would get higher and higher so we have a bigger reach and in my opinion what's happened with the um, inception of the web it has made it so that we all have a ladder that's about the same size and it's really leveled the playing field. In my opinion, we have brand awareness, which is one thing, but the ability, the MLS has given us all the ability to reach all corners of this, of the earth, really. And that's, that's my opinion. And the way I look at the, the internet is, you know, and the MLS is like a wagon wheel. And if, when you put that property into that hub, every single website that it gets disseminated out to is the reach. And it doesn't matter which company you're at. If you did great marketing and you put it into the MLS, it's going to get disseminated out to those different spokes. I would actually say that some of the largest brokerage firms, in fact, the firm that we just came from, who I love, William Pitt Sotheby's, doesn't have as far reach as we have today. And the reason I would say that was when we were there, we asked if we could add a couple of spokes, actually 68 extra spokes that we thought would help our clients and they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't allow us to use because we had to use their internal system. So I think nowadays the mom and pops actually have a larger reach because they have the ability to spend more money 
to gain these extra spokes that get a larger reach. That's just my opinion. That was like a mic drop, Tim. That's it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was just really good. No, I mean, I think you're exactly right. Putting um, being able to put everything out there, it really has. It's leveled the playing field completely. Um, I, I don't think I really looked at it quite as deeply as you did. Um, but I think you're exactly right. When there's no limitation, then you really do have unlimited reach. I, I just like the fact that you just said that I was right. That's all I'm concentrating on. That's all I'm going with. I was really anticipating like this was going to be back and forth because I didn't think we were going to agree, but yeah, you kind of got me on that, on that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, anyway, let's food for thought. Let's next time. Why don't we talk about print? Print. I like it. All right. All right. We'll talk to you. See you next time.